Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Uh, we are back for the last two streams. There's technically a third one, but we're not going to watch that. <laughs> it's the PC Gamer Show. Who needs to see that? Um, yeah, we have the last two conferences for today. Uh, we've got Nintendo, and then almost immediately afterwards, we've got uh, Square Enix. And Squeenix. we've got bingo cards for both of them. Uh, let's take a look at Nintendo's before anything starts here. Uh, we've got Majora's Mask sequel. New Metroid is called Metroid Dread. A brief mention of the new console. A Mega 64 skit. Waluigi finally gets his own goddamn game. A Robot Chicken skit. Bill Trinan jo jokes. This guy spelled it as Brill Trinan. <laughs> Third party support. Sakurai somehow looks even younger. A new Paper Mario. A new Punch Out. My body is ready. It's a me is the free space. <laughs> new Zelda takes too much inspiration from Ubisoft games. A new Metroid, but it's not called Dread. A Pokemon MMO or MOBA. New 3DS Zelda. An open world Mario game. Star Fox is shown. Even more crossover games. New Mario Kart and Smash DLC. Year of whatever. Uh, they, they break the emergency glass and release Mother 3. There's a new IP. And then there's a new Pokemon Snap. Maybe mobile? I would play the hell out of that. A mobile yeah. Pokemon Snap? I'd be all right with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd be, I'd be all right with that too. And I really want Waluigi to get his own game. Mm -hmm. oh, shit, I should shut off my alarm. Can he have his own game? Is there like a Nintendo rule against it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe an internal rule. <laughs> There's an internal rule. <laughs> nothing, nothing we know about. <laughs> the depths in the depths of the depths of Nintendo, they have secret rules. It's no like Fight Club. No Waluigi's. <laughs> no Waz. Sorry. There's a that sign that is, says WA and there's a big red cross through it. That dude is relegated to sports games only. I want to know, who is Waluigi? And why <laughs> is Mario Party a sports game? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Mario Party of, is the an eSport, I will let uh, you know. The sport of dicking each other over is ancient. Yeah. Well, they keep removing those feel bads out of the game, though. That's why those those games are not true to the spirit, mm -hmm. the ancient uh, spirit of dicking each other over. All right, I'll buy that. Oh, uh, we should also give the ether. Oh, yeah, it's people are on it already. Linking oh, yeah. in the chat. There bingo cards are e3-bingo.lmaonice.com. Find all the bingo cards for every conference there. Also, the Majora's Mask sequel, Square, is oh, is mine. Here I we want go. That to go. Badly. What? Mystery what? Oh. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Iwata? Oh, wow. Uh, yes, we're ready to start filming the Nintendo digital event for E3 what? 2015. Oh my god! Okay, thank you. <laughs> I will head oh, <laughs> to the stage. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is great. Nintendo, I love you. Oh, he looks just like him. <laughs> Is it, are they gonna have a crossover show with the fucking Muppet Show debuting this fall? It's gotta be. I don't know. Oh my god! It'd be funny if it was just regular. Oh no, Reggie. Yeah, that's what Reggie does every day. Yep. Nintendo My puppet body is ready. Oh, there's my body is ready. My puppy body is ready. Fucking hell! My puppet body is ready. What the fuck? We already got a square. Holy shit! It's been like 20 seconds. <laughs> Oh my god, these caricatures of them are so good! I did this because I love this. Fuck. It's a nice walk animation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope one of them is the real guy. I'm here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, the puppet makes him look 30 years younger. Yeah. This is killing me. If, 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 if Sakurai's puppet <laughs> looks... Younger, does that count? He's just baby. He's yeah, just he's a, just a baby. He looks like those Final Fantasy babies. What those if puppies. those puppets? Oh, yes. What if those puppets actually walk out on the real stage? Oh my, <laughs> my god! god. <laughs> Would die. Okay, ready whenever you are, gentlemen. I just have to remember my words. <laughs> what? Oh, what the? No! <laughs> Don't go there! <laughs> Don't go there! <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing? Look, look! It's happening. Ah! The furry ing 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 ing. <laughs> oh no. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Oh my god. I got careless flipping. This is somebody's wet dream. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Nintendo Direct that launched a thousand fetishes. All right, I know this is like all cool and everything, but when are they just gonna fuck so we can get this over with? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I love these puppets, though. They're so cute with these puppets. <laughs> God. Hey, fuck. Anyways, Anyways we're just fooling. Yeah, Welcome to Nintendo. Cool we like to have yeah. fun. Buy a roll. I can do better than that. Check this out. Oh, zoom in that lens flare. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Anyways, the new Star Fox. <laughs> we can check that off too. Yeah, Star Fox is shown. <laughs> god, that intro, holy fuck. <laughs> Alright, is it an open world Star Fox? It has to be. <laughs> and a MOBA. Yeah. And a card game. <laughs> okay, cockpit view. Ooh. I wonder if they're gonna cross over like that weird giant robot stuff they showed last year into Star Fox or something. The only way that they can make this any better is if they made it a VR game, right? Yeah. Is, yeah. VR Star Fox. Yeah. That'd, that'd make you throw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, they're doing the Star Fox 2 shit. Ooh, they're transforming that. Rope, uh, our wings and shit. That's neat. What are you talking about? That's not canon. Oh, it's totally canon. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they actually got the Jim Henson company to do those puppets. They I mean, those, they looked a million percent. The cameramen like just looked like straight up fucking Muppets. Yeah, Jim Th those looked incredibly people. legit, like Jim Henson Muppets. I think they just got the Henson company to do it. I don't know who else does work that good. Yeah, deploy the tiny robot. Switching to all range mode. Let's take the offensive. Oh, oh, cool. He God. did a barrel roll st straight into that God. ship. <laughs> Star Fox Zero. All right. That's cool. I live right by the Fushimi Inari Shrine. I've had a relation with this shrine since I was a child. Because of that, I felt that I was always protected, as if it's my guardian angel. <laughs> when I was a child, there was a TV show about fighter planes called Thunderbirds. That Wait, they're taking it. Make a game that had if they take like major inspiration from Thunderbirds for fucking Star Fox, that'd be cool. I think they did for the whole thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> that would be reflected in the dialogue and appear in scenes like where a cool character and enemies would appear. I'm here for a job, of course. And looks like I get to have a little fun. Sounds like a Ferengi. <laughs> <laughs> a little, yeah. A quark. How to make the main characters look and feel. We talked about all sorts of types of people. But ever since I was in school, I drew comics with caricaturized humanoid animals and decided <laughs> that the characters in this game should be based off animals. I then talked about it with Ima Morrison, the designer, and we thought about the fox image. Then I thought, let's try making a fox the main character. We're entering Corneria City now. Stunks <laughs> look. When there's an arch, you want to go under it, right? That's the kind of game I wanted to make. Oh, that's why we're here. <laughs> about the shrine, I also took a major ins uh, inspiration the from the Atari game Barnstorming. So we came with this idea to create a game where you would fly through different arches. You know what, to his credit, it's a really fun game, man. Yeah. Stick like the one you'd find on a plane. When you fly a real plane, you need to pull back on the control stick to fly up, right? Similarly, you can use the gyro on the game pad to look all around and feel really immersed in the game. Pretty cool. Like people to play I like how Nintendo gets these the professional plane. voice actors really to like, do this sounds so clean and so great, you know? Mm -hmm. For Wii U, with its two screens, we experimented with gameplay with ideas before this iteration of Star Fox. There were two screens that each serves a specific purpose. I'm gonna be so purpose. sad when Miyamoto example, dies. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be that will be a terrible day. Yeah. The other for game it, it'll be like a day that we all fly our flags at half mast mm -hmm. to make this in silence and it's a cockpit. Think of all the bad political so like cartoons no, about running out of lives. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. His game is over. <laughs> all the, all the obit <laughs> cartoons are gonna be terrible. I don't. I don't think it'll be like that. I think like kids will be learning about this stuff because this guy is. 
a genius in terms of you know making fun and simple gameplay. It's mm -hmm. it's the thing we strive for everything in games. While shooting down at the end But they're still gonna be bad obit cartoons. <laughs> I I think those people are gonna be out of the business by the no, time. No, they he's are dead. not. They're, they're, that is an they're absurd always. statement. Yeah. They have been around since like the seventeen hundreds. They're always gonna be bad political cartoonists. But they are eternal. <laughs> Are we talking about Kelly here, or are we just talking about this, like, an unironic, like, New York Times one? Well, yeah, yeah, ironic. Real ones. Yeah. There's only one button to fire all the different weapons. So there are four buttons left, and with that, we thought, why not use these buttons to make the R-Wing transform? Sorry, I bummed everybody out talking about Miyamoto's Anyways, mortality. No, <laughs> Miyamoto is safe. He's totally fine. To hey, man. And Star Fox is coming out. The R-Wing transforms. That's pretty cool. He's, he's gonna be fine. He has a lot of guys. The <laughs> oh, no. into a walker. That was in Star Fox 2. But since Weeping game, Princess game, Peach in the window. <laughs> oh, they talk about Star Fox 2? Yeah. The R-Wing transformation mechanic actually looks like it makes a lot of sense. There's the Landmaster. And also the Gyro Wing, which adds a lot of breadth to gameplay. With it, you can perform a lot of tasks as far as Look at the tiniest robot. Aww. It's Rob, isn't it? You can also play different stages Kinda. with other he, vehicles. He has Rob's head. Yeah. So I hope you'll have fun trying out courses with different vehicles even after you clear the game. This is kind of a long video intro for yeah. the game. Are they going to show it? Or is this like, this is it? We've rebuilt the game That's probably it for Star Fox. The past, but it's not a part four or part five. It's not a remake either. So we named it Star Fox Zero this time. Well, it's nice to see a real Star Fox game because that hasn't happened and in for fucking ever. Zero was taken from how the kanji character <laughs> looks in that. calligraphy. Mm -hmm. Star Fox is based off of the Japanese culture that inspired me, so I wanted people around the world to see this cool kanji character in the logo. When I saw it, it reminded me of a foxtail. We wrote the character with a brush and added the logo. It looks cool. I mean, yeah, it does. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh there are going to be more Muppets. I hope there are more Muppets. Oh, it's just regular Reggie, Nintendo's and that's cool. Digital. Whatever, we don't have to listen to it. <laughs> what does he have on his shoulder? I'm Reggie a feather? President oh, of Nintendo it's Virtual. happening. Oh, it's happening. We began today having a little fun imagining ourselves as characters in the Star Fox universe. No, you didn't imagine. You spent like a couple million dollars <laughs> to be... But that opening was more than just fun. It also it was the best. It was. It was. Consistently throughout Nintendo's experience for E3. That theme is transformation. Recently, transformed Super into a transformation. Puppet. Majora's Mask sequel. <laughs> Nintendo itself is Majora's being transformed sequel. with expansion to Universal theme parks, mobile devices. Oh, I should have mentioned that on the, on the thing. Game platform, code name NX. Check that off. Well, we'll NX about somewhere in 2016. Yeah, they Today, brief mention NX. Our purpose is more immediate to focus on the transformations you'll be enjoying right inside your Nintendo gameplay in the coming months. If there's a secret to the longevity of Nintendo franchises, it is transformation. We never let them stand still. There always has to be something new, something compelling. I'm digging this tune in the background. Yeah. To the game Super Mario Brothers, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary in 2015. To say he's been transformed over the years is obvious. But along the way, he's also transformed gaming. From establishing the platforming genre on the NES... So enough about that. While Luigi's game. getting a game. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Later this year, Super Mario Maker will take the next step by turning the essence of game creation over to you, our fans. So if this was a drinking game and we said every time he says transform, take a drink, you'd be, you'd be totally fucked wrecked. up. Now. You'd be wrecked. Yeah, you'd be, be in the hospital by the end of this. Friends. And who knows? Maybe even I'll be playing and of course beating your latest creation. No, Reggie, you'd probably get Fine. owned like you did in Smash. <laughs> no. You're too busy. You're like a CEO guy. Quite like Amiibo. And as you'll find Amiibo. out this week, there are more new Amiibo on the way and more games for them to inhabit. In fact, right now, let's see how Amiibo are about to show up in a totally unexpected way. 
Uh-oh, I don't know. Oh, that's Amiibo. where all the Amiibos went. <laughs> Me, the Amiibo the, truck, they stole yeah, it. Those are, yeah, Nintendo stole their own Amiibo truck. So at this year's Nintendo... It's like the event, Disney the trick where you put everything in the vault every five years and they never release them. From the Vicarious Vision Studio at Activision and Carthage. Oh, they're going to cross over with Skylanders, aren't yeah. they? So, you know, the hallmark mm. of the Skylanders franchise mm. is always Skylanders. Deliver Skylanders is like so much a money printer. That counts as a crossover time, game, doesn't it? It might be. Right, if, 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 they, if they throw Nintendo Amiibos into Skylanders, yeah. Skylanders Superchargers. And really blending it to this epic vehicle adventure. But there's more to it, right? We've got two unexpected <laughs> guest stars. So introducing turbocharged Donkey Kong. Yeah. His vehicle, the Barrel Blaster. Skylanders crossover. Yep. Well. Yep. There you go. We also have Bowser. This is Hammer Slam Bowser. It is possible to have a bingo vehicle, already. The clown. <laughs> I mean, the funny thing about all this is, is like they did this first, and people laughed him at him. It was like, really, you're gonna do what? And like, guess who's laughing out of the bank? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guess who's trying to copy them now? What happens? So they have complete move sets and upgrade trees of um, of powers and abilities. Some of which are natural things that you would expect, like Donkey Kong throwing barrels and Bowser slamming down his hammer but also really unexpected moves. Also, didn't that we learn that the guys that made this basically made Star Control and now they're just like Skylanders all the way? Yeah, the Star Control dudes are like what else the Skylanders dudes now. <laughs> good move, dudes. Yeah, for good reason. <laughs> Shit. You're on a Skylanders portal, they act as a Skylander, but you can twist the base and switch it to these games are any good. And it can be <laughs> used whoa, games. whoa, games. near kids watching so again, this. Yeah, if there are kids watching this, they're flipping their shit right now. I know, but I'm wondering as an adult, are Nintendo. these any good? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. No, they're adults, man. There are yeah, guys at work that bought that go this. fucking yeah. crazy for Skylanders stuff. Because I don't know like anything about the actual yeah. gameplay of Skylanders. That is very protective it's, of its I don't know it's been kind of like different over the games, but it's kind of control. been like top-down, like baby's first Diablo style stuff. Really? Yeah, you like beat stuff up and you you get loot and shit. And I just know the name. I don't know what the what the purpose of it is or mm -hmm. anything. Well, people. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I should try it one day. He, I I don't know. People at work play this, and they they claim they bought it for their kids, but <clears throat> they're the ones that are playing it. And there's this, it, it speaks to like this collector mentality. People who collect, mm. like they wanna, they just they wanna collect stuff, mm. <laughs> physical things, not just stuff in the game. Well, here's all the material for dry bones, and it was just you know building on top of that, and uh, we just didn't. You know, we didn't think that we were going to get away with all of this stuff. There's puzzle Perfect. aspects, so there's mm -hmm. vehicle sections, it looks like it's got everything. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Disney tried to do a, a Disney Infinity, remember? Yeah. And they, they basically saw Skylanders like, oh, we can throw a bunch of money in there and do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, Yay. they're back. Oh. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to do when you get a star, and he knows. Aww. <laughs> I don't care. It's cute. <laughs> I hope one of them does the Kermit yay and like flails around a whole bunch. Oh my goodness. All right, put another Nintendo shit into Mario Maker. New Zelda. New Zelda. Is it 3DS, 3DS Zelda? Maybe. I bet it's a 3DS Zelda. Yep. Yeah. Check that New off. 3DS, 3DS Zelda. Zelda. I don't know what it is, like, when they make Zelda on the 3DS, I feel like it's a way better game than when they try to make it all high budget on the Wii and Wii U, it's like... Mm. I mean, uh... There's something about the top-down style that just, it's... I mean, that's what it is, and then it's yeah. really good for that. I mean, the, the Link Between Worlds was pretty good. God, I hope they make Majora's Mask sequel, oh my god. Mm. They did talk about how they were taking inspiration from Majora's Mask for the new Wii U one, but mm. who knows how much that actually And they keep the talking game. about transformations, and I'm like... Mm. Yeah. Well, look, they're transforming. Lucky oh. loungewear. Man, if I was a kid and could play this at school every day with my friends, this would have been amazing. Mm. Oh, man. I love these outfits. <laughs> I, I mean, I remember Pokemon was there, but it's like you had to have all the cables yeah, yeah, the and like cable. it sucked and yeah. yeah, the old days. Well, it's that same boss as in every game, mm -hmm. the one with the nucleus. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of amoebas mm -hmm. in, in Zelda. 
I, I just, why change a thing that's working well, right? Oh, it's that the big jelly dude. I love him. Oh, they're, they're cheering. <laughs> There's got to be a mechanic for the three of you doing something. Mm. Well, they were showing that, <laughs> that there was mechanics for the three of you doing things. That was the entire basis of the trailer. <clears throat> They were yeah. like stacking on top of each other's yeah, heads. Like to together. I want to know. I don't want to be sizzled. I want to know more. Hello, I'm Aonuma, the producer of Zelda. Today, I would like to talk about The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, the latest Nintendo 3DS Zelda game. I have the game's director, Shikata, here to introduce it with me. Hello. 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 I wanted to focus on multiplayer and co-op. This poor man looks like he's been stung by a bee. Multiplayer in Zelda games yeah. was more competitive, much like a party game. Everyone would gather to play to see who would get the most rupees. This time, I wanted players to cooperatively enjoy more serious Legend of Zelda gameplay elements, like solving puzzles and going through dungeons. The 3D visuals of A Link Between Worlds was a great feature, especially mm. in terms of depth. So I wanted to I didn't know you could do that, that in that game. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should play it that sometime. Game. It's actually it's, it's really fun. Yeah, maybe I should play it's it. It's a really fun game. <laughs> um, so that's why we came up with... So I wouldn't be surprised if the Wii U Zelda doesn't show up at all, because they kind of said it wouldn't be at E3 this year. Sometime. <laughs> I don't know if they meant no playable on stage or just mm -hmm. no, it doesn't show up at all. Well, there's no stage anyway. It's well, yeah. a Nintendo well, I mean, the, the Nintendo's still, I mean, like, playable on the stage after the conferences. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And then they do a whole show where, like, people walk around like, here's the guy playing a game, and he's like, this is fucking awesome! Mm -hmm. We decided three was the better choice. <laughs> Totem time. For single player, there are supporting <clears throat> doll-like characters. There are two of them. And you can beat a level by switching between Link and these two dolls. The story starts in a kingdom that is just full of fashion savvy people. <laughs> yeah. Someone thinks that Babyface's voice actor is a smug voice actor from Shat so Mems. <laughs> oh my god, he might be. Well, I think that was Yuri Lowenthal or somebody. Oh. Unless we're talking about some other smug person. So Pretty much everyone was smug in that game. <laughs> Using items to so they're, they're talking about like, okay, there's three players when you play by yourself, there's like little puppets or something. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering which one is the worst way to play. Because <laughs> mm. whenever they do these like co-op things, there's always like a compromise between the AI and like having actual human players. Yeah. Well, they were talking about with the dolls, you, you just switch between them manually. Like they don't, I don't think they have much of an AI, it sounds like, to do all the puzzle stuff. You just have to switch between them. I'm guessing, I'm trying to figure out which one is harder though. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if this is just going to be local only, or if they'll actually support. It has to be local because it's like you have to be like, hop on my back, come on, let's get it. Yeah. See their reactions is fun too. They might have little. Oh yeah, there's the totem time thing. Yeah, you might be able to press buttons in the D-pad or something. Go like, hey, let's do this. For basic communication. Yeah. But for more complex things, it might get difficult. They might have like a pointer system. No voice chat for Zelda, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we frequently hear Mr. Yeah, you know, like in a uh, Portal Two, you can play that whole game without voice chat mm -hmm. with co-op. Even though that's a really complicated game. Yeah. I have the loudest voice on the team. Oh, do you? <laughs> I say it in normal volume. I have the loudest voice on the team! I am not yelling. Also for Nintendo 3DS, we have another new game. Last year, we had the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors. Oh, that's right. They're doing the Hyrule Warriors port developing a with some more characters in it. This game is a reimagining of the Wii U game. Reimagining of the Wii U game, which means it's not as good as the Wii U game. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if some compromises there, but just be, you know. Yeah, just because it's mobile. Just because Dynasty down. Warriors shows so many people on screen and all that. Yeah. We are also adding additional characters and stages from The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, Aww. to expand. Yeah, Tetra and then uh, King of Red Lions. He turns oh, into wow. a fucking boat when he fights. Look at that. Oh, dude. Oh, turns into a boat. <laughs> nice. Like the Zelda games I created. That rules. It is an experience only Koi Tecmo can really bring to life. I hope you will enjoy Hyrule Warriors Legends as well as <clears throat> the Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. He's, he's saying it so slow. I know, it's like it sounds like he's talking to <laughs> someone who doesn't speak English. Yeah. It's like he's annoyed that someone didn't hear him the first time. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. 
<clears throat> I don't know if we needed a trailer for Hyrule Warriors again. Well, I, you've seen, I've seen a pattern here that's like, talk about it, yeah. show it, talk about it, show it. And sometimes they swip, swap it up and they talk about it first and then <laughs> they show it. A uh, person asking if Wind Waker characters are coming to Wii U. Apparently, if you have the 3DS version, you can link it up to the Wii U and get them. Hmm. I really hope they just add them as just, you know, DLC, so you don't have to buy the $30, $40 game to get two characters you want. Yeah. Because this is also like... They haven't had any Wind Waker characters up until this. Because for a while they were like, nah, we're going to add Wind Waker characters because he looks so different from the rest yes. of every other Zelda game. This music track owns. Yeah. Turn it up. Fuck. Uh, I didn't think you could, like battle theme of that particular thing. Because <laughs> it's like a merry little little flute ditty. You can do anything with music. I have met Jake Kaufman. <laughs> I'm gonna bring out Majora's Mask sequel. Oh, we're back. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wario. Oh no. What is this? Uh, I thought it was hmm. a joke about bad breath. <laughs> oh, it's this this is that soccer game it's we a saw. Boring soccer game I don't care about. Yes. Wait, what? Oh, no, what? Metroid, Metroid Prime Federation Force? Metroid what is Prime this? Soccer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the Wait. Fuck this is. Four player co op and Metroid Prime. This is not 3DS. the Metroid I was expecting. Wait, okay, so that soccer game is a multiplayer soccer. Okay. Oh. Last one was Metroid. Is it? What? Is it all in one big oh my God, multiplayer so cart? So that. Okay. So when we were looking at that HUD and going, wow, that looks a lot like Metroid, is because it was literally fucking was Metroid. Metroid. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's a 3DS Metroid. We can check that. Well, do we have a 3DS Metroid? No, so. we just have new Metroid. Is called Dread or not? Okay. You know that that first. Uh, what? Uh oh. Oh, it's a Fire Emblem character. Fire Emblem. Wow. How <laughs> much can we put in Mario Maker? Everything. And here's your uh, actual Fire Emblem. If Mother 3 happens, I'll get a bingo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, she, is she a Vocaloid? Nah. This looks great. Unfortunately, it's just the cutscenes because it's a 3DS game. I would love. Oh, really? Yeah, it I would looks love like. The 3D like looks like that. Yeah, I would love Fire Emblem to be on a console where it can look like this because it looks so fucking good. That's a little disappointing. Maybe that's what they're doing. Nope, uh, 3DS. Yeah, not wah wah. The uh, Fire Emblem cr uh, Cross Shin Megami Tensei game they're doing looks a little more like those cutscenes though. Not as nice though. For your betrayal. But obviously they've done this, so it means yeah. that it could be the, running in a game at the, some point. Yeah, the cutscenes in the previous Fire Emblem of 3DS also looked like this. I have not played a single Fire Emblem game, but every time I see it, I like, I want to play that. I, I, I've <laughs> only played one Fire Emblem, and it was the one on the 3DS, and it was pretty fun. Isn't that a Pokemon? That really does look like a Pokemon. Isn't that Arceus or somebody? <laughs> Yep, and here's their Fire Emblem Cross persona. What? Yeah, so... Yeah, they were just saying it was anime as fuck. Uh, I think this tops it. Yeah, years and years, like, three years ago, they announced, oh, we're doing Fire Emblem Cross Shin Megami Tensei. What it really is is more like Fire Emblem Cross persona. What is this song? What is happening? This is the most anime shit I've seen in my life. There's now, Vocaloid. There's your Vocaloid. <laughs> So it's like Persona high school kids go into an alternate universe like Persona, but then everybody looks kind of like Fire Emblem characters, but then the battle system is more like Persona. Jiggle physics. Know, yeah. It's anime. <laughs> it comes with the territory. <laughs> it's just accept it now. It's just like, oh, uh, okay, we're not even going to bother. When it, when it comes about to it. anime, it's just like, well, of course. <laughs> Okay, so the personas. Oh my god, the persona was literally fucking crom. Amazing. <laughs> and this persona is. Okay, yep. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing because it's like I'm looking at the like these animations. It's like, have these guys never touched a boob before? <laughs> <laughs> So we can't, well, the Skylanders thing already happened, because I was going to this technically counts as the crossover square, but it already kind of happened last yeah. months ago. Yeah, we got two so. crossovers going on here. Yeah. If this was a DDR song, it'd be like eight foot. It'd be pretty tough. <laughs> Chaos would be very high. <laughs> I miss hearing Japanese. <laughs> I just love hearing it. I don't know what it means, but I just like hearing it. It's a pleasing ass language. Oh, good, they're doing the banana joke again. Oh, they're doing it. <laughs> Contemplate the banana. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> that didn't go anywhere, and that made it funnier. <laughs> and this is Xenoblade Chronicles. Maybe there'll be a release date, fucking finally. the format of this show because it's just like it's, going it's, from thing to thing to thing. Yeah, like, the, the pre-made directs they do for E3 are great. It is they're pretty compact. fucking snappy. Yeah, and then the thing is if something if there's some bullshit in the middle then it's not working they just cut it. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. they know what they're doing. Nintendo's that's the kind of company Nintendo is though. They're just like a super polished company. They don't let anything out. Mm -hmm. Like they don't they don't really go unscripted very often. Mm -hmm. Another game we fight dinosaurs. I've been excited about this game for a very long time. P.S. I was thinking about this while I was going to bed last night. Um, the mm -hmm. dinosaurs in that robot dinosaur hunting game from yesterday. Gorilla Games, new game. Yeah. yeah. How do they reproduce? They're robots. I did think about that very briefly. Who's making all these robots? <laughs> Is there like a Robotnik? Well, you guys have to know, right? You gotta find you out. You gotta find out and play the game. Mm -hmm. I, I probably will play that game. How do robots cool. bone and make baby robots? Yeah. yeah. All right. What other crazy shits happening right. here? What other character right, we got? Right. Oh, it's Isabelle oh, from Animal Isabelle. Crossing. I know the thing. Oh, new <laughs> Animal Crossing, probably right. Or that other Animal Crossing thing they talked about earlier, the that home designer one or whatever. Does the uh, 3DS Metroid oh, count as new shit. Metroid? Oh you yeah. get to be a real estate agent? <laughs> you get to be your own fucking Tom Nook and scam oh people out of their God. money? I forgot about this game entirely. Everything old is new again. Boop. This looks like an amazing game to sink like 50 to 100 hours in, and that's yeah. what's kept me really afraid for playing it. <laughs> Animal, Animal Crossing can be a dangerous thing, yeah. yeah. It's a crowded house. It's a fire hazard. It's, a, it's like a Japanese house. Yep, amiibo. What are they doing? Those are amiibo cards. They Ami haven't released yet, but they're making amiibo cards too, yeah. Yeah, well, they're a lot easier to carry around than That's that. true. Because then you could shove it inside the system and close the lid. Mm -hmm. Those plates of pancakes. <laughs> I don't know. We, we, we made this transition to digital so that we wouldn't have to carry around a bunch of stuff, and now we're going back to like the <laughs> carrying a bunch of stuff around. <laughs> I just, I just, just want to have one thing, put it in my bag, and be done. <laughs> well, now you can buy the Nintendo 3DS card holder. <laughs> Happy home designer. Okay, September. Yeah, see, here's the thing. Lightning effect added. <laughs> oh, a Wii U Animal Crossing. There you go, right? Oh. Surprisingly, graphics just look higher resolution. That's it. Oh my god, <laughs> is this a Mario Party board? Mario oh, Party oh, Amiibo. Shit. Is it Animal Party? Oh my god, I hope you can dick people over. Yeah, okay, so when Mario Party switched over to where you couldn't dick people over as much, Wii Party still had a lot of that in there. Yeah. And so Wii Party actually became the superior, like, get drunk with your friends game at night. Oh my god, a KK Slider amiibo, you guys. Oh my god, I love KK Slider! <laughs> Everybody buy into the consumerism, buy oh. more amiibos! I love KK. Wait a second, I want to see them fight. I want to see this mini game. Our what money is... spilled out of our wallets. You need to see if there's any pro strats in this or not. 
So I'm seeing a lot of cards and a lot of progress bars filling. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Aw, oh, roulettes. No! No roulettes. Or less roulettes. <laughs> less roulettes. Less roulettes. Are there no mini games in this? Is this just all? random? Hmm. Is this like the game of life where you pick up a card and it's like, we all played video games, yay! Where's the actual game part? <laughs> oh, Amiibo that, Festival, huh? That was the game part. <laughs> huh. Yoshi, so cute. That's right, Yarn Yoshi. Yarn Yoshi. When are we getting a... Oh my god. When is America getting a release date? Everybody else has one. Come on. <laughs> Yoshis. Dude, whatever truck is carrying those fucking Yoshis is gonna get jacked like Fast and Furious style. There's gonna be a giant Yoshi vault and somebody's gonna be like tethering it to the back of their monster truck. This game also looks good because it looks like an actual like sequel to like the first Yoshi's Island. Let's just ignore those bad sequels. He has the perspectives of the player. So he has both elements, the leader and the player. <laughs> Where's that ner really nervous yarn dude from the Sony conference? Let's get him on here too. Yeah. Maybe he'll feel more at home with all this yarn. <laughs> I'm not a programmer or an artist, so I wasn't able to make something. Charon Payday 2 The Yoshi Heist sounds like an amazing <laughs> game, actually. Really I don't know how it would work, but... So I thought to myself, Oh, is there anything that I can do in some way to help this game? I went home and got some yarn. Also, P.S. Yay, female <laughs> developer! My yeah, this yarn. is a good E3 for ladies. Then I brought it back to the office. Uh, the smiles on the face of my colleagues really struck me. There was this proposal made at Nintendo. It's going to be in fucking possible to get a, 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 that fucking little Yoshi amiibo right there. That's all that exists in the world right there. Yeah. What do you think they're going for right now? Is the price just going up? Put yeah. one on eBay right now and just see what happens. Just take a picture of it. Say, uh -huh. I got it. And decided to make more yarn Yoshi prototypes. Yoshi himself is made of yarn. The shape of his body transforms into different shapes. So he turns into like a propeller when you jump and he turns into a mallet when he does the ground pound. But also, Aww. the world itself is in yarn and fabrics and lots of textiles. We have places in the game where you can unravel and you can also knit platforms. And in this game, the enemies are made of yarn as well. So when Yoshi swallows them, they turn into mm -hmm. little yarn mm -hmm. balls instead of eggs. Well, most of all, we want the game to be fun. Yoshi's Woolly World provides plenty of challenge if you try to go for 100% completion. But also, we wanted to have lots and lots of people enjoy the game, and those lots of people. Yeah, so this game has a baby mode where you can just go like, "I want to be a baby," the and then Yoshi and just sprouts fucking wings, and you can just fly through the whole so level. Well, they have to do that on all these that, all these <clears> games <throat> because yeah, they've been doing it for a while. Because they, if they find out that people get the Nintendo system first because you can actually beat it and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But they still do a good job of making sure that if you want a hard game, you can get it. I thought it was for children that mode. Plenty of challenge in this game. They could, they call it um mellow mode because children can't play games anymore because they're used to mobile games. Yeah, it's pretty true. much. Hey, they got to start somewhere. Mobile games have ruined our children. <laughs> when my kid sees a phone and goes, well, I don't actually have a kid. If my hypothetical child ever sees that phone, goes, I want to play Angry Birds on it, I'm going no. You're gonna slap that shit out of his get, hands get and put that a, shit out of your hands. Put a real controller. He's a brick <laughs> Game Boy. Good luck. Seeing what's happening on the fucking screen. <laughs> You're playing Dark Souls in my house. Maybe you could get a giant ass heat lamp. You'll be able to see. Good luck. <laughs> Go get a job too. Maybe maybe the heat lamps by the burgers will help illuminate the screen. You're three. Make some money. Oh my god, this scary Mario Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, he's a little yeah. scary. He's scary. <laughs> that animation though is so great. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff. The Samus one's weird too. <laughs> there, there's a couple amiibo cousins they've shown that actually look really good, but yeah, like the Mario one looks looks like Yoshi's kind of. Oh my god, it's Poochie. Uh, it kind of looks like Yoshi's wearing Mario's skin, maybe. important item around you, so he's a quite useful companion to have. 
Oh, it's so cute. Even after you clear the level, it's really fun to go back, revisit that level because there's always something that you missed out on. Replayability. Yeah, man. It would be great if you can collect all the items in one go, but that is quite challenging. So um, I hope people can enjoy playing the same level over and over again. <laughs> Just imagine, this is good Yoshi creepypasta material. <laughs> Game looks cute! Oh my god. As long as they have a big dance off at the end, it wouldn't matter if they just showed a bunch of turds the whole time. People would be like, it was so great! Okay, this is Yokai Watch, I think. It is, yes. It's it's a, a slightly different type of Pokemon. Yeah, ghost is, Pokemon only. Is it's this basically. a new IP? No, this Yokai Watch has been out in Japan forever and has been a big deal, and they're just now releasing it in the U.S. So like are they like time. skipping like one, two, and three or something? There there are a lot of Yokai Watches if I remember correctly. This music sounds very familiar. Hmm. It does. Yokai are Japanese mythological creatures, right? Yeah. That's what yokai means? Yokai are just like completely random things that have like Mythical a ghost properties. spirit or something. It can be, it doesn't even have to be a ghost. It can just be like, oh, this Pringles can has a spirit in it for some reason mm. or something. <laughs> That's what I think of when I eat Pringles. Yeah, there's a ghost in there. That's why I don't eat Pringles anymore. <laughs> That's not also why I don't eat Pringles also anymore. Also, they make me feel sick, but that might be a, on account of the ghost <laughs> yeah, being in the yeah. chips. Yeah, exactly. You're right? allergic to ghosts. It's my favorite anime, Ghost in the Chips. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, goodbye. That was my anime humor of the day. Shut it down, shut yeah. it down, we're done. <laughs> oh, it's just Luigi. Luigi. Luigi gets his own game. Year of Luigi oh, Part shit, 2. Oh shit, Paper Mario, but it's 3DS. Paper Luigi. <laughs> Why did you put new IP on that list? Like Nintendo <laughs> hasn't had any IP. Oh wow! This is this is the two different Mario RPGs in one game. Oh my what? god! It's Paper versus Super Nintendo. Wow! That's oh, that's what? uh, this is Mario and Luigi cross Paper Mario. This is the ultimate crossover, <laughs> while still being in the same franchise. <laughs> That's uh, really meta. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> My favorite Paper Mario is still the Super Nintendo one, but that's because it's like a square game. Yeah. And it's just like a really solid RPG. Yeah, it's Super Mario RPG is pretty good. Most of the Mario RPGs are pretty good, except for the last 3DS Paper Mario and Super Paper Mario, really. Papercraft Mario! Oh the, my god. There was the Wii U, or sorry, the Wii Paper Mario. That yeah, was Super like Paper pretty, Mario. Yeah, that was the... That's, that's not a great game. So yeah, that's a new Paper Mario, technically. You should check that off. Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. Wow. Paper Jam. Yep. That's check a good that name. Paper, Paper Jam. Mario, technically. Oh, that's what I think of. That's a good name. Oh, Mario Tennis. I don't think we put any Mario sports games on no. here. We should have. Mario Tennis was a pretty fun game when it yeah. was out on the Wii. Somebody's getting huge. It's the sports games for people who don't like sports. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why they're fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Mario, the be careful, down. you'll kill them! I know. I was like, about, I w I've been seeing so many violent games at E3. I was like, no, it's gonna hit his head and it'll explode. Yeah. And Gibbs will come out. Yeah. Somebody will give Mario will become <laughs> just legs. <laughs> We've been working together for 30 years now. If there's three ideas presented to both of us, we pick the same one. As the years went on, and we made more and more sides from oh, this guy's this is voice again. Create a more advanced tool. Yeah, to he's like so intense. As we were going on more and more, I started to think, how can I murder people with Why Mario? is a cat he making Mario levels? Because uh, it's tool cute. So yeah, the that. the interface for the Mario Maker it, is pretty wacky. Okay. Sometimes it's like a human hand. Sometimes it's like a cat. With Super Mario Maker. Anytime you make an edit, you can see the results right away. This instant feedback can really help your imagination run wild. 
A lot of this interface is very reminiscent of Mario Paint, which is awesome. Yeah. There's going to be an immediate dick butt made. Time onto these sheets of graph paper. That's how they did it. Those I, I bet those were the originals too yeah. for those levels. Them into a build. While digging up these old documents, the clouds and the bushes are the same. <gasps> it's very precious. When we first thought of the idea of Super Mario <laughs> Brothers, we had a concept of land, Cute. air, and sea. See this old sketch of Mario throwing fireballs from a moving cloud? You can now do that in Super Mario Maker. Yeah, but he's so you angry, can though. Control mm -hmm. where the cloud flies. <laughs> you can control where the cloud flies. Why did Microsoft not say that? <laughs> in the old days, when we needed to fix or change part of the course, it would get really messy if we tried to edit the original drawing. So we'd put this see-through paper on top to make edits. A lot of things might look familiar. But you can combine various elements from the different games to create entirely new stuff. <laughs> like stacking different enemies on top of each other. So this is out already, tower, right? No. And then putting a bullet. They Mario, showed this last year. They did. It's been work, been getting worked on a long time. Because when they first showed it, it looked really bare bones, and people were really worried that it was like because the levels you can make were also really short. Like the max size was really short, right. and like there are some enemies that okay. every time they've shown it, they've been adding like a shitload more like functionality and like stuff to it. Are they just trying to turn it into like a fifty dollar title? Is that it's, why? It's going to be a sixty dollar title, yeah. Wait, Wii U games are 60 bucks now? I thought they were 50 still. Some are 50, some are 60. Okay. Uh, but this is going to be like a 50 or $60 game. All right, well, I don't know because we don't make Wii U games. We got Wii Fit Trainer. Uh, but yeah, it's, they showed more stuff like the Nintendo World Championship and like the amount of stuff you can do and like make they have is costumes, ridiculous. We're releasing an 8-bit Amiibo. When you use it, your Mario hey, Amiibo. game is going to appear a bit bigger. They were going to the freak Amiibo the hell out about this one, too, I bet. You know what, though? The giant world was the best one in Mario 3, yes, so, like, it come on, it's got to be there. The booklet has a lot of sample courses. It's really fun just looking at them, as if this is what would happen if you design the world of Mario in real life. The cool thing is they're letting you basically pick the tile set for any kind yeah. of Mario game that you want to make. And one of the other cool things is they're bringing in like enemies from other Mario games and like redoing them in the style of that game too. So the thing is, is that like the art style makes a big difference in how those levels are laid out and how they play. Like, yeah, I, one thing I don't know yet, but I'm really curious, is if the game physics, like when you pick the graphics, if the game physics are the same as that that game. Like if it changes or if they all share the same. Physics. So have all like the, the task broken things you can like hit left right on the d-pad and like jump and your max acceleration mm -hmm. But there's a block above so you can't run so if you jump the ceiling is low so you usually hit it Oh, that's clever World 1-1 design mm -hmm. This is gonna be like video game 101 design when they're teaching it in schools I'm telling you, this guy's gonna just be in history for the next hundred years. Mm -hmm. But the first gap has a floor. I mean, we only stand on the shoulders of these giants. We can only make stuff as good as the guys last before us made it. Mm -hmm. Man, I never realized how tutorialish the first level is. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Very subtly tutorial. It's really fucking smart. And honestly, like, I feel like we should go back to this type of game design where tutorials aren't heavy-handed and it's just a thing you naturally do. Yeah, a game that did, did, did a lot of this stuff really well in a similar way was Shovel Knight. Yeah. Shovel Knight was pretty similar. With enough practice, anyone oh, people, can become people a in chat are saying the physics do change depending what graphics you have. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, it does. 11th of September. Earlier I said that Nintendo's experience That's for E3 soon. is all about transformation. And while we've given you a sneak peek of some of our mask. games <laughs> coming later in 2015, Please. there's still much more to share. Next, Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 uh. begins. Oh, that's we'll it. We'll kick off with Mr. Miyamoto 50 minutes. and fellow it. flying through Star Fox Zero. And if you can't wait to get your hands on Super Mario Maker, the opportunity oh. is right in front of you. On Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from noon until 5 p.m. local time, 
You can walk into any of more than 100 Best, best Buy stores. I'm not going to a Best US Buy. And yeah, I, I, and have you been to a Best Buy recently? Ugh. It is That's like, it is hell. not even the same thing you remember anymore. It's literally like Samsung has their store, Apple has their store, Nintendo has their store. It's all just like branded experiences. So like, I'm surprised all the video games are still in like kind of one section because like the computers aren't even in one section anymore. It's like, here's Dell's store and here's Apple's store and Sony's store. More than a billion people around the world have played a Nintendo game. And most of them have played as gaming's biggest star, Mario. But now From we're the gonna play as Waluigi. To the costumes to the characters, <laughs> Super Mario isn't just Nintendo's mascot. There's a little piece of him and certainly memories of his adventures inside all of us. Look at this pro right here. Come on, that's not how you do it. All right, yeah, that's all right. Any scrub can do that. Well, I'll release Mother 3 so I can get a bingo. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the four-player New Super Mario Brothers game. They're fun to dick people over it. Because exactly. you can dick people exactly. over it. Exactly, yeah. that's why. You could play co-op or deathmatch. Thirty years anniversary. What? I was hoping it was mini wheat. Me too. Holy shit! Are we that old that this thing is thirty years? <laughs> <laughs> are they counting like the first? Are they counting Super Mario Brothers one? Are they counting like the arcade game? Like it seems how like is they're counting from Mario Bros. one. Okay. So it's more than thirty years, but. <laughs> I will admit, I dressed up as Mario one year for <laughs> Halloween, so... I was never Mario, but I was Link one time. Puppets. Yep, it's this it's the good time where everybody feels good because we're all dancing this song, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's how you end every oh movie. God, he can play guitar too. He can do everything, man. Shit. He can go to the moon with just his mind. <laughs> Alright, guy in the back, you're fucking up these maracas. You're off the you're off the band. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, let's see if the site's down already. Yeah. <laughs> Some silly viral thing. Now it's your turn. Visit let'supermario.com. You know what's bugged me about all this? What? Super Mario Brothers one shot that they use, the colors are inconsistent every time they jump to it. Yeah. With Nintendo making a donation to the nonprofit group Operation Smile. Visit our site for details. Let's have some fun. Let's support a great cause. And let's Super Mario. And let's do the Mario. <laughs> That's what he should have said. We, should, we re, they really need to show some clips from the Mario movie. Come on. Yeah. They bring, bring have put that behind Mario them. Movie. I know, but I love that movie. They like to pretend it doesn't even exist. The movie freaking But it rules. does. It does. What the hell mushroom is that? This is Mario Maker. Anything's possible. <laughs> yeah, but I've never seen that mushroom in any Mario before. Is what I mean. They're gonna make it up. They make it up as you go along. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a pixel editor and like make your own power up kind that of thing. That would be that would be cool. Yeah. If they did that. And then there's just like a checkbox of statuses, and there's like a hundred checkboxes you can go through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice guys. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Oh hi. Oh. Not really. Okay. Treehouse time. All right. And now it's it's 
whatever time the other one. It's IGN. Yeah, IGN dude bros. for a little bit, and we have <laughs> only a little bit before Square Enix happens. Oh jeez. Is it on the same YouTube thing? Do I have to? It, sh it should be. Oh. It should be. I'll have to check out here before yeah. that starts. So. Yeah. Thanks for coming though, dude. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah, E3 is a lot of fun. I, I enjoy this every year, and I mean, just seeing all the games come out. Because I mean, even though we're game developers and we kind of talk to each other, I mean, we don't know exactly what's coming out. So yeah. it's always it's even a surprise for us. So mm -hmm. did I get a bingo? I didn't even check. By the way, bingo, greatest idea. We should do bingo for Volition Stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know how we would bingo it though, because. You guys have to have more consistent people on and have habits. Yeah, maybe. And the more people critique your habits, the more you're you're less inclined to do those habits and watch Damn. the stuff you do. Whatever, so I do what I want. It's no probably business. less fun to do that on on a regular stream than a corporate stream. Mm. Yeah. Corporate streams are always punching up, too. <laughs> generally speaking, mm -hmm. like corporations, whatever. No, but you guys knocked it out. This is awesome. I love this. Oh, now we just have to see uh, what Square Enix does. Uh, can they pull out a ton of more mind-blowing shit for me? Because that'd be cool. <laughs> if they show any more Final Fantasy VII other than that pre-render... Dude, I'll be amazed if they have any gameplay to show or anything to show other than that trailer. Okay, so I wanted, to, I wanted to say this, but I didn't want to take you off of your high that you're on uh -huh. because that was amazing last <laughs> night, but... I think that they just they put together a pre-render that they, that they basically got the green lights like yeah. hey Final Fantasy 7 is going to cost like 80 million dollars and like okay Re what really yeah. <laughs> so they like yeah you have a month to make a CG trailer so we can get yeah, people I'm, I'm excited it, if they started that remake any you know they probably started it like a month or two ago or something and there's like nothing to show for it yet and so that there's an announcement cg like, trailer okay which, i mean there's a bunch of material to make it from right so yeah and then they were playing the and also they were playing the advent children music so i was like oh man oh man i i was i was really afraid that you were going to get really yeah. really upset that it was like it's a final fantasy 7 it was like two I, yeah was, <laughs> the whole time i was expecting to be a prequel or a sequel or something i didn't want mm. not as a remake <laughs> Uh, Man, there's n there's like nothing in the C3 that is for me, mm, really. Yeah, nobody's what, what, is for you? what is for you? Silent boy? Hills would be one Silent of them. Silent Hills would be the big thing. Majora's Mask would be a big thing. I would like to see a Waluigi thing just because, <laughs> lol. But, yeah, nothing's really happening. I mean, I'll probably play Fallout, but I'm not like super jazzed because I'm not like super into Fallout. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't super into Fallout either, and then I played it and I was like, okay, this is actually pretty good. I have played it. <laughs> what about, uh, <laughs> what about Unravel? I mean, it looks cute. What about Yarn Yoshi? I mean, it looks cute. Okay, but not like I'm not like up your those alley. aren't like my things though. Like, yeah, you know, I'll play them, but I'm they're not like they don't resonate with me, and I don't get excited, you know, for them. Like mm -hmm. you got you know, you guys like fucking shit your pants over <laughs> the Last Guardian, which I don't really know what that is. It's Ico stuff. I wasn't really into Ico mm -hmm. stuff. And Final Fantasy, I don't give a shit about. I'm excited. Everyone else is excited. Shenmue, I almost know nothing about. But I'm excited. Yeah. Everyone else is excited. But it's like, oh, when do I get a thing to be uh, shitting my pants about? Oh, not I this year. I think you're year. just going to have to wait for random indie games to come out of nowhere. I know Majora's Mask just literally got re-released. But just because that happened doesn't mean that they wouldn't make a sequel. Because it wasn't a sequel. It was a re-release. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I wanted something. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes there's, there's always next year. And then there's always other game shows, there's too, There's always right? Nintendo like, Directs, too. Man, fuck video games. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, Nintendo doesn't even spend a lot of, like, effort. Like, they used to have a live show and this this huge thing. And, mm -hmm. and you know, they, they're just like, hey, we can just go direct to our customers. And they know who their customers are, right? Yeah. Like, like they're a different segment than what E3 kind of caters to. Mm -hmm. E3 is like the Xbox, PlayStation, I'm going to buy 10 games a year kind of crowd. And Nintendo is more about the oh families and people who played Mario and the guy that casually plays and he remembers playing Mario like 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. 30 years ago, Jesus Christ. Also, I suppose that um, I'm in the minority because I don't care about either Final Fantasy, Shenmue, or whatever the other thing was. As Guardian. As Guardian. I feel like those three things cover a lot of people. Like, if you don't care about Shenmue, you care about Final Fantasy. If you don't care about Final Fantasy, you care about, the, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, the, all those three things I don't care about. And mm -hmm. I'm probably a, a rarity in that I don't care about any of those particular things. Yeah. 
feel like most people care about at least one of those things. One or maybe even two. Or maybe all of them. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm pretty weird in that I don't care about those things. So um, Yeah, but, you know, maybe after six months, it's not enough my, ads, they might make you care about it. E3. <laughs> not, not the E3. Nintendo's me, E3 sorry. was really tame this year, but I they also like stressed at the beginning that they're just talking about stuff that's coming soon. Which is what Nintendo generally does. And that's actually a good idea to do because a lot of those yeah. things that Sony was showing, it's like, okay, they, or, or Microsoft would said uh, Xbox exclusive, and then only two things said Xbox exclusive in 2015. Mm -hmm. Like Microsoft announced a bunch of games that aren't even shipping. The, they aren't even planning on shipping this yeah. year. I'm fully expecting Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy VII remake, to not come out until I'm like 35 years old. <laughs> or until there's PlayStation 5. Yeah, it'll it'll be in development long enough that it'll get carried over to PlayStation 5, mm -hmm. and I'll be in my fucking... I'll be middle-aged man. PlayStation 5. Still waiting for a fucking remake of a game I played when I was 12. <laughs> well, then, then your children will be it, able to that, play There it. you go. That's my Star Wars. That's your Star Wars. Everybody else is, like, shing their pants in Star Wars. I'm like, but what if... I want to see Cloud snowboard in high def. <laughs> I, want to, I want to go to the Golden Sa Saucer and do the roller coaster game. In, v to... in VR in a MOBA. In VR. <laughs> yeah. All right, we gotta get ready for the screen extreme. Yep. Get out your other bingo cards. All yeah. right, guys. I am going to head off and sign out here. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, nice having you on. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, and sure. we'll, uh, we'll be back on Thursday for Volition Stream. Yep. Uh, what is, what is up am, next? Do I we... am streaming Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Are, are we really doing it? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played a thing specifically in any of those streams yet, so it is my turn, I say. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm signing out. I'll right. see you on Thursday. Yeah. All right. See ya.